Hello, Cawthorn community. Thanks for stopping by to watch this video. A lot of people have had trouble with the blue versus green color challenge, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show you how it works. This is Jace Valerian versus Vivian Reed. If this video helps and you enjoy it, if you could leave a like and a subscribe, we'd definitely appreciate it as we try to grow the channel. Here, we're going to go ahead and play our island and play the only creature we can as we wait for the next turn. Uh, we don't really need another land right now, so we're going to go ahead and scry that to the bottom. You just click the card and move it to the bottom of the deck. Uh, here we don't have anything we can do, so we're just going to wait. Um, Elysian Karyatid. Interesting card to see there. Uh, so here we could draw a card this turn by playing the Cloud Seer, which drawing card is very valuable. Or we could play Warden of Evos Isle. This would actually... Be the better move because it lets you think ahead. When we play this, other flying creature spells we play cost one less. So next turn when we play our fourth land, we can actually play both Cloud Seers. That sounds a lot better to me. Uh, otherwise, we would only be able to play one next turn. So that sounds like the smart move as we continue through the challenge. Wow, our opponent has a lot of carry tids. They have a lot going on over there. Can definitely play some big mana spells. Um can't play that yet so we're just going to go ahead and play our other cloud Seer at this point we do have lots of flyers which is good uh, we're going to go ahead and attack because our opponent has no flyers so they can't block uh, that is not great because now none of our flyers can get through uh, their carry tid also has um can produce two mana each now so we're going to block with the wall because if we blocked with one of our flyers, they would die. We want to keep our attack power strong. We have two unsummons, which is actually really helpful. Uh, we're going to unsummon the spider here. And the reason why is because it lets our flyers get through and deal some damage. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to attack with all of our flyers. Wait, see what our opponent does. Uh, so we could play the other on summon right now, but I really don't want to do that. The reason why is because when they play this, I want to bounce it again. Uh, cause right now each of these can produce two mana. So they have six mana available to them because this has four, uh, power. And when they control a creature with four power, each of these three creatures makes two mana. Um, the other reason for unsummoning it right now is because next turn we're going to have enough mana to play our Frilled Sea Serpent. Um, but if we have to play Unsummon and the Sea Serpent, there's nothing we can do. We're going to block the Sentinel here to block the most damage possible. Not that it's really that big of a difference. Uh, but it is just a good little uh, way to get the most value. So we attack through the air there again. They're down to six life. We can pay seven mana and make our serpent unblockable, which is awesome. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make our serpent unblockable. Unfortunately, that would only get four damage through. We could wait and do that again next turn, but that's a little risky. Um, they only have one creature with reach that can block our flyers. So if we attack with all three of these, they can only block and kill one. The other two should get through and we win the match. If this tutorial has helped you beat the blue versus green color challenge, I'm glad it did. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would help the Cawthorn channel out so much. But until next time, we'll catch you on the next video.